Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Greetings. 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 My beautiful beings of light. Welcome to the monthly messages. The Creator sends you love waves to wrap around yourselves. Imagine this love wave as a etheric luxurious Creator's pink fuzzy robe gift that you put on and relax in. Close your eyes and just feel the softness of the robe material, smell the rose scent embedded into the fabric, feel the weight of the garment as you put it around your shoulders. Sense and feel the love that the Creator has imbued within this robe, just for you. Allow this Creator's gift to soothe you on all levels of your essence. Remember this gift and enjoy it. Wear it whenever you need a lift of spirit. You are seeing time speed up along with more and more chaos forming around you. When major stress impacts your life, it puts a damper on your spiritual frequency levels as well as damages your physical body, unless it is cleared. Use this meditation as a gift to yourself. With your permission this messenger would like to join you on this journey within yourselves, my beloveds. Allow yourself to use this meditation often. Clearing of the debris fields will be best for your spiritual, physical and emotional health. Arrange yourself in your chair or lie down on a bed so that you are comfortable and secure. Keep your legs and arms from crossing if at all possible as this blocks the flow of energy. Spread a light blanket over your physical form if you chill easily. You need to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as your meditation journey guides you within. Close your eyes and take a deep breath, then let it out. With each in-breath, you are breathing in love. With each out-breath you are releasing fear and doubt. Take another deep breath in and let it out. Take another deep breath in and let it out with a sigh. Feel your body relaxing from your toes to the top of your head. Give yourself permission to feel the calm and peace settling around you. Your muscles are feeling loose and limp, so relaxed, so deliciously serene. Direct your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. You may picture your ego self in any way that is beneficial for you to separate it from your spiritual self. If it helps you to visualize by identifying your ego with a symbol or as an object please do so. In your imagination ask through prayer, for the Creator to send you down a protective ray of white light by praying mentally something like this My Creator I am asking for a protective ray of white light to enfold me and lift me up so that I am experiencing the very highest of vibrations during this journey into my innermost depths of understanding and being. I am protecting myself My Creator from anything that is not for my highest good on this journey. I am thanking you my Creator, for assisting me by sending this ray. I see it in my imagination now coming down through the corner of the area where I am meditating. It is entering into this physical form, permeating all that is within my I am presence. The Creator has answered your prayer and has gifted you with an iridescent white ray plus a deep emerald green ray along with a pink and golden ray for this journey. The rays are entering into your body through the solace of your feet and moving up through your physical vessel, permeating throughout all of your energy fields and physical vessel and into all corners of the actual area that you are meditating in, then the rays are exiting through your crown chakra. The rays are returning to the Creator and cycling back down through you again and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop. These protective therapeutic rays are in continuous motion while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, which is not for your highest good, without your permission. My divine beings of light you are breathing very slowly and evenly now, you are feeling secure and safe. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and feel the lighter relaxed feelings of being protected and divinely guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Listen to the Creator's spiritual heartbeat and feel the unconditional love that courses through you each time you think about this moment. Breathe in deeply allowing and seeing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited guides join you. The angels take your etheric essence's hand and guide you out of your physical body and direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel has been stationed to stay with your physical essence until you return from your meditation. You are seeing feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, 
spirit guides and special invited guests are now with you, within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the door and turn the doorknob of the golden door that says to my highest guidance within, you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Touch the white marble walls with your hand and feel the coolness of the stone. Notice there is a small table to your right with a vase sitting on it that is filled with your favorite flowers. Breathe in and smell the luscious fragrance of the flowers. Glance at your appearance in the mirror hanging above the small table. You notice a bowl of your favorite treats on the table as well. Unwrap a piece and pop it into your mouth. Hum. You think to yourself, delicious. You sense your angels and guides beside you as you offer them a treat as well. After everyone has had their treat your angels and guides are directing you down the hall. You are looking for the door labeled to your crystal palace deep within. Your angels and guides are here to assist you every step of the way. This inner space you are going to is a very private place and only those that you have invited may ever enter. Another step down the hall and there to your left you find the door in front of you. You turn the handle and step over the threshold. You look up and realize that this door has led you into a meadow. You look around and see a brook up ahead running alongside the bank. You see the tall beautiful trees shading the spots along the brook banks. Listen to the brook as the water giggles rolling over the small smooth pebbles. The brook is saying to you welcome. I love you and it has been a long time since I've seen you. It makes you smile and you thank the brook for its greeting. You feel a gentle breeze brush against your cheek. You smell the essence of beautiful growing things mixing with the breeze on this beautiful sunny day. A sturdy wooden arched bridge is in front of you, it crosses the brook. You walk across the bridge reaching the other side. You stop, being still for a moment, you sense and feel a definite shift of frequency has occurred, just by crossing the bridge, as if you have reached another milestone in your spiritual journey. As you look up, you see and sense in front of you a mountain with hundreds of steps up the side. An angel is stationed next to the steps. The angel asks if you desire to remove and leave your backpacks filled with your problems, worries, and frustrations at the base of the mountain. The angel tells you that you may pick them back up again on your return if you so choose. You make your choice quickly and decide to leave them. The angel takes the backpacks as you hand them to her, so that you may leave them there while you climb the mountain steps. Oh my! You think to yourself. How good that feels to have the weight of the backpacks taken off of your shoulders. Your frustrations, fears and worries were so heavy to carry. It is so freeing. You say a silent thank you to yourself for giving yourself permission to leave them there for a while. Following your angels and guides you begin the ascent up the steps and as you climb to the next higher step you are feeling lighter and lighter. Your angels and guides are smiling as they are observing that you are almost floating up the hundreds of steps. Upon reaching the top step, you peer off to the side as you turn to view what is on top of the mountain. Your angels tell you that you are now in your garden of serenity. They tell you that you are to create this garden along with the complete journey within your mind's eye or imagination. It can look however you wish to see it. Does it have trees or plants? Perhaps there is grass or maybe waterfalls. Does your garden have animals and what do they look like? Your angel taps you on the shoulder to show you a white unicorn, can you picture it there to your left? Take a whiff of the air what fragrances do you smell? The angels hear birds calling overhead they ask you what types of birds have you selected for your garden. Linger only a moment longer as you know you can return here anytime you choose, now that you have remembered the way. You will constantly be adding things each time you visit your angels tell you. Walking through your garden you imagine in front of you a path. In the distance about a 100 feet ahead you notice a large crystal palace emerging in the air, sparkling and glistening in the sunlight. It glows and feels so warm and loving just to look at it shimmering there. Walking closer now you see at the entry there are two white marble columns. The angels tell you that all of your incarnated birth dates are inscribed on each column. Between the columns is the palace doorway. As you look closer you see the door is made of solid gold. A closer look still and you see your name as it is in this incarnation. 
Under your current incarnated name is the name that you were gifted with, when you were birthed into your initial creation of the universe. What does it say? Underneath that name, there are hundreds of other names that you have assumed throughout your many past lifetimes and incarnations. Some may be in languages that you do not understand, symbols or markings that you do not recognize. Do not be concerned if you do not see any other names but the one that you presently hold. If you do not see any other names do not be concerned this information is not ready for you yet and it will come forth again when the moment is appropriate. You turn the handle on the golden door and step inside. It looks however you desire it to be. It is beautiful beyond compare filled with all the gifts and wealth that are yours to hold. The light is filtering into the inner hall area refracting all the wondrous colors of the rainbow from all the facets of the crystal walls above. The crystal's refracting light is causing rainbow spots of color on the floor before you. You can walk and stand in each color if you like. Feel the differences between each color as each carries its own energies and attributes. You will know just the right one to stand in and win. That knowing and remembering is all coming back to you now. You notice that there are many many doors inside this crystal palace and wings still being constructed. Your angels tell you that you are always under construction so don't be alarmed at the new wings and rooms springing up at each visit. Each door is labeled but you might not be able to read the signs on each door just yet. Only when you are ready will the names become visible to you. The door closest to you however has light emanating from all around it and under it. You can feel a presence behind the door like no other. The field of love that is pulsating all around the door is unbelievable. You walk closer and the sign on the door says the creator. You look around and are able to read more door labels, one of the door signs says my angles, another my guides, another my spiritual family, another spirit physicians and on and on. There are many more doors, but you know where you are going now. This seems very familiar, your angels are guiding you and you are walking down a hall and turn, you are standing in front of the door that says healing and releasing room. You enter this room and as before you make it as beautiful as you can. Fill it full of all the conveniences and amenities you think you will desire as you will be spending a great deal of time here. An area of the room has been designated for discussions with others higher selves and releasing those old painful feelings and relationships. One area is designed to evaluate your spiritual frequency levels so that they can be adjusted as needed for your healing. One area is designed to infuse you with the Creator's grace and love to help raise your spiritual frequency levels. One area is designed to view your judgment cord attachments. One area is designed to clear and balance the chakra system. Another area is designed to scan your essence and determine what it needs to heal. You will find a pool within this room. You might want to label it the healing pool. Perhaps this pool has healing soothing emerald green water with lotus blossoms floating on the surface. It looks so inviting, so very safe and secure. Your angels would like to determine what your spiritual frequency level is at this point. You are directed to the area where you see a long crystal wand. The angels are showing you that this will determine your spiritual temperature or frequency level. You stand on the small golden circle on the floor that the angels are pointing to. Then the angels take this long crystal wand and hold it sideways about six inches from your third eye or forehead. You notice after a few seconds that the crystal wand is glowing somewhere in the middle of the wand. The angels nod to each other and say that the frequency level indeed needs to be raised for you to feel your best. They guide you over to a special mirror and they explain to you that this mirror will show you all the cords that others have sent that are attached to your body. They explain that each time, one makes a judgment about another accord immediately goes out from the judging person and attaches into whatever chakra is affected of the person being judged. These cords stay attached until you actually cut them ethereally and remove them. You turn and look into the mirror and lo and behold you look like a mummy wrapped in all of these judgment cords. There is very little free space anywhere on your body. The angels also share with you that these cords suck your energy constantly. This is probably why you have been feeling so tired the angels relay. The angels hand you some special scissors and you begin to cut each and every cord. As you cut them they immediately are sent back to the individual that put them there. 
the mirror also shows you that as you cut them the circulation is restored to that location on your body. You finally have cut the last one and you can really tell the difference you feel so much freer. Good job the angels tell you, good job. The angels direct you to the chakra clearing area next. You stand on another specified golden circle on the floor. There you watch as the angels scan each chakra and clear each one that needs work simply by tapping it with their angelic finger. After this is finished they take their tuning forks and calibrate each chakra to its designated perfect tone. You are finding this fascinating and you notice as they clear and calibrate each one you are feeling stronger and better. After your chakra work is completed you are shown to the area that will infuse you with the creator's love and grace. You see this golden mattress sitting on the floor. The angels ask you to lie down on it. You follow their instructions. After you are settled on the mattress you notice above you a large double terminated crystal hanging at a position right over your heart chakra. This is even more fascinating you tell yourself. You smile as the angels turn the knob to the correct number on the dial that illuminates the giant crystal. You watch as the crystal lights up and begins to beam the creator's love and grace into your heart chakra. It only takes a couple of minutes. You notice a wonderful warm glowing sensation in your spiritual heart chakra and feel the love and grace flowing throughout your entire body. It feels so good you tell yourself. That process finished your angels have you stand again on the golden circle so that they can once again gauge your spiritual frequency levels. The crystal wand glows completely this time and yes the angels say it is now perfect. They tell you that you have done so very well and should be feeling much better. You nod and thank them for their help. You indicate to them that you are feeling so much better. A nice dip in the healing pool will be your last step the angels tell you. Your angels point to a dressing room and tell you that there is a bathing suit waiting for you there, go change so that you can enjoy this beautiful healing pool. You go and change and to your sheer delight this bathing suit fits perfectly and makes you look fabulous. The angles tell you that the stress of your daily physical life has contributed to your feeling very harried and drained. Allow yourself the glorious privilege of stepping into the healing pool. You see the steps leading down, as you step into the pool feel that luscious warm and inviting emerald green water slide over your body as you walk down the descending pool steps. A water raft that is gold and pink is waiting for you to lie on. You hop up on the raft and lay back. If you like. Invite those you asked for support to join you now around the pool. You might also ask Archangel Uriel, Archangel Gabriel, and Archangel Raphael to join you as well. Allow them to surround your pool and beam their healing and loving energies into your pool to help you re-energize and revitalize. You lie back against the raft cushions and just feel the tension and stress melting away. You realize that the emerald green water is actually drawing all this negative stuff down into the water and transmuting it instantly for you. Your angels, guides and archangels are beaming you positive energies. The archangels are placing special crystals and jewels around the pool and sending healing vibrations through them into the water and into you. You are starting to feel ever so much better. As the stress leaves, your gratitude is returning. Your smile and laugh are returning. Yes you tell yourself, you feel more alive and vibrant than you have in years. Your angels motion that you are all recharged and ready to get out of the pool you tell them you really hate to leave the pool it is so wonderful. They tell you that you can return on your own anytime now that you have remembered the way. You hop off of the raft, splash back down into the pool and walk back up the pool steps. You notice as you step out of the pool that you don't even need a towel you are perfectly dry. You laugh to yourself, how fun. You return to the dressing room to change back into your clothes. Dressed and ready to leave this room you follow the angels back out of the room and into the hall. You follow them back into the main room where you see that the creator's door is open. You see this blaze of light in all directions coming from this room. As you walk closer to the creator's room you hear the creator say to you come in my child it has been a very long time since I've seen you. A little sheepish at first as you enter the room and feel the Creator's essence surrounding you with love. Feelings of the Creator's love and home bring tears to your eyes. You hear a faint lyrical music playing in the background. You're trying to recall where you have heard it before. The Creator responds, 
The music is your song. That is the song that was created just for you as you were being birthed into the universe. The creator asks, Will you dance the way we used to when you were home last? The veil is thinning for you now and the memories of you dancing with the creator are flooding back into your awareness. Yes, yes you answer yes. You take the creator's etheric hand and assume a ballroom dance position as the creator whirls you around the dance floor in a slow glorious waltz, to your very own song. The tears of joy roll down your cheeks as you realize that this love from the creator is the love in your life that has really been missing. You whirl and twirl some more really not ever getting enough of this great partner holding you. The creator slows and you hear the creator say, You know I hate for you to go but you have a mission to complete. Your work on the earth plane is so important. It is time for you to go now but please come back more often, I miss you and I love you so much. You tell the creator that you feel the same way too. The creator gives you one last hug and you reluctantly turn around and follow the angels out of the room. The angels guide you back into the main room and back into the entrance corridor with all the crystal refracted colored dots on the floor. You cross back over the main crystal palace threshold and find yourself back in your garden of serenity. You walk back down the path a bit sad but realizing that you can come back here as much as you want, now that you have remembered the way. You reach the mountain steps. You walk back down the steps of the mountainside. If you must you may pick up the backpacks filled with problems, worries and issues that you left, ask yourself before putting them back on. Did you really miss their presence and the stress that they presented in your life? If you choose to put the problem-laden backpacks on again, notice the tremendous weight that you have once again saddled yourself with. If you choose to leave them, see the angel instantly vaporize the backpacks and all their contents. In making this choice to leave the backpacks you have allowed your angels and the universe to assist with the contents of those backpacks for your highest good. Cross back over the bridge. Tell the brook goodbye until next time. You continue on down the path and see the door in front of you that leads you back into the white marble corridor. You take another treat from the bowl. You glance again at your reflection in the mirror. You see yourself glowing with radiance and health that was missing before. The angels lead you back through the door where you find yourself back in your etheric spiritual heart chakra then the angels assist you in rejoining your own physical body that has been awaiting you while you were in meditation. Rejoining your body now, reorient and when you are ready, open your eyes, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Give yourself a few minutes to completely come back into the now presence, you have been in the presence of the highest of vibrations. Go about your day remembering that your inner wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace and grace.